Hello, I'm Alan Fern from uh, Oregon State University. I'm a computer scientist here. And this is my laboratory. It's one of my favorite places to work these days. You might ask why a computer scientist would be interested in a football stadium. Well, to me, something amazing happens every football play that goes on in here. Every play, we have thousands of fans watching the action on the football field. Light is hitting their eyes from the players in the field. And somehow, they all come up with a common understanding of what went on. Now, this might seem mundane and not terribly interesting at first blush, but if you're like me and you try to get computers to do the same thing, you'll realize that it's extraordinarily amazing. So why would I care about getting a computer to understand football? Well, for one thing, I, I have to admit I'm a football fan, a sports fan in general, and uh, it's really kind of a fun uh, domain to do research. But maybe more importantly, I'm also an artificial intelligence researcher. And what we like to do is find problems that humans are really good at and computers are really bad at and try to make the computers better at those problems. And it turns out that a field called computer vision uh, is a very challenging domain for artificial intelligence. In computer vision, what we want to do is get a computer to look at the visual world through a camera and understand what's going on. Now, I realized several years ago that football would be a really interesting domain to conduct computer vision research in. And there are a number of reasons for this. Um, basically, it, it has many of the challenges that are present in most of the domains that you might want to apply computer vision to. That's what led to the uh, Digital Scout project uh, that we started several years ago at OSU. And our goal here is to get a computer to be able to watch a football play and tell us what went on. Sounds simple, but it's very challenging for a number of reasons. So why is it hard? Well, for one thing, if you actually watch a football game, you'll notice that the camera is constantly panning, zooming, tilting, sometimes erratically. And our brains are so good at negating this motion that we don't even notice it. But it's very confusing to a computer. So we have to deal with that. Another thing that's very difficult is the objects or the football players in this domain move erratically. They move fast, they're unpredictable. And that really is very confusing to a computer as well. So all of these things basically mean if you can solve this problem, you'll solve lots of other computer vision problems as well. For several years now, we've been working on this problem really as a driving force in our computer vision research. And we, we've made a lot of uh, technical advances because of that. The state of the art in computer vision was just not nearly good enough uh, to solve this problem uh, to any reasonable degree of accuracy. And so we've picked apart pieces of this football understanding problem over the years. And, and I just want to give you one example of maybe my favorite result. So one of, one of the hardest problems in football understanding is tracking the movement of the players. I mean, at the end of the day, what you need to do is to be able to know at any moment where is each player on the field. That's what the computer has to analyze. And we, as humans, pretty much effortless, effortlessly can determine where the players are at all moments. But the state of the art in computer vision gets very confused. So we, we tried a lot of techniques, but the technique that worked for us in the end is really quite interesting. We use an idea uh, called machine learning, where we're actually training the computer program to track football players. So what we do is we give it lots of football video. But then we let the computer overnight watch the videos over and over and over and try to adjust its program, you could say, so that it's able to track the players and match up with the ground truth trajectories. So through this technique, we were able to get a fairly decent tracking system for football. It's not perfect. There's still a lot of work to do. But uh, here's one example. So what you'll see here is there are boxes around all the football players but the boxes are going to follow the players. You can see their trajectories are being drawn on the uh, overhead view of the field. And so after this tracking is done, the computer can then go ahead and process their trajectories and try to understand what was going on. 
So, so we're continuing to make steady progress on this football understanding problem. And every step along the way, we, we develop these general techniques that can be applied in other uh, computer vision domains. And so that, that's really one of the, uh, the most interesting things about this project. We're working in this fun domain of football, but the results are really applicable uh, quite widely. So, so next time you're watching a football game or even just watching somebody cross the street, Maybe, maybe you'll remember every now and then how amazing that really is and that there are people like me uh, who are working on getting computers to do that same thing.